hi 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 so i want to make a clarity video first of all i want to thank you guys very much for commenting and actually giving me ideas for my next video i really appreciate it like i really appreciate it okay so first thing i want to do is try to pronounce the term that i tried to pronounce the the path that i tried to pronounce uh druid now i talk with my nose so i'm very well aware that it probably sounds weird coming out of my mouth but i think i'm doing it right druid druid and I keep looking at myself. I need to stop staring into the camera. <laughs> I need to stare into the lens and not the, the screen. Um, also, it's not that I identify atheist first or anything like that. It's, it's more so I'm a pagan that happens to not believe in any deities. I don't believe in any deities at all. I just don't. You know? But I'm a very open-minded person, Okay. And that me not believing in any deities doesn't mean that I'm not going to use them to represent something for me, because I will. Like, for instance, one of my favorite goddesses, Iris, she's like the goddess of rainbows. I love rainbows. And, you know, if I'm doing something, it's been a while, I haven't done anything in a long time, but let's say that I was doing something to, I don't know, increase some form of diversity in my life whether it be in my daily activities or the people that I'm around or just anything in general, if I want to represent diversity, I would actually use Iris because to me, rainbows, or I'll actually get a rainbow or something rainbow. To me, rainbows, they're beautiful, they're diverse. Or well, the rainbow itself is diverse. It's very beautiful. You know, it represents happiness, a lot of different things. And I would probably use iris you know if i have a statue of her or something and she would be on my altar at the time i'm doing the whatever you know what i mean so uh, even though i don't believe in her doesn't mean i won't use her in my workings i'll still use her in my workings the same thing with the moon goddess uh, uh the what name what is her name like i have seen so many different names for her i guess there really isn't a specific name but i'm just gonna call her the moon goddess okay even her, I like what she represents, you know? If I need to do something, I would use that, you know? Um, also, I'm not using Wicca and paganism interchangeably, just so you know. Paganism is an umbrella term, and Wicca falls underneath that umbrella. Some people don't agree, but I, it falls underneath that umbrella. From what I, my, the research that I've done and the life I've lived, <laughs> From the point where I started anyways, that's always something that I've noticed, okay? So that's just, you know, if it, I don't know, maybe because of how I talk, it sounded like I was, but I, I really didn't mean to, you know, I know that there are different things, but it is something that does follow underneath the pagan umbrella. It does. So just to throw that out there. <laughs> um, I don't know if it's because I said something about the kind of guy that I want to date, and I may have done something like this, because I tend to talk with my hands and my head and my mouth and my eyeballs. Well, obviously you're gonna talk with your mouth, but you know, I tend to talk with my body a lot. So I may have done something like, oh, no, 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 I would like for him to be pagan or, you know, wicked. Uh, I don't mean it as in, you know, it's the same thing. No, I meant it as in, I want to be with a pagan, but more specifically, wicked. I hope that makes sense. Okay, um, what else? Oh, the year and a day. I tried that three times and gave up. Uh, the most recent time probably was two years ago, I think in 2012, because I think I made a video about it, um, talking about that I want to do the year and a day again, talking about that I was going to fix up my book of shadows, and I wanted to continue making wands and stuff like that, and all of these things were in my plans. Um, the only thing that I stuck through with was the wand making. I didn't stick with the day in the, I, I just couldn't do it, the day in a year, I don't know, I, I need, there are 365 days in a year, and I need 350 of those days to be lazy days, that's terrible, you know, but I enjoy crafting, and I am going to continue making wands and stuff, just right now, I, I'm not in the right place, I need, when my life changes and I get into the right place, I will get back into all the things that I, I love to do, okay, which includes wand making, and I'm going to do more than that too. And I want to make them not just from sticks, like from different things. So you can get different energies from them. Um, but anyways, I I gave up. 
<laughs> I did. Oh, the Book of Shadows. I think I've mentioned this before. I gave up on that too. <laughs> because it, my Book of Shadows is way too diverse. And I realized that I just need a separate book for everything. So I think my Book of Shadows is just going to be spells. And then everything else is going to have its own book. You know what I mean? So eventually I'll get into that. I'll, eventually I'll be able to fix that up and get that sorted. But it's going to be a while before I get to that point in my life again. Because i got to move out first. I'm trying to find a job still. Yeah. Fuck you, sin a fucking bun. For ruining my life. <sighs> Anyways. It didn't ruin my life. No. I just realized. It, it helped me realize that food service is not for me. Really. Uh, I already knew that, but, you know. What else did I want to talk about? I want to make sure that I'm not missing anything. Um, I think I touched on everything that you guys, you know, was curious about. Um, I'm not so sure. I hope I didn't miss anything at all. I don't think I did. Did I miss anything? I think I, I, think I touched on everything, but I'm going to add some stuff now. Um, my journey thus far... I've been really off and on. I haven't really been behaving. I've been off and on with it because I have this thing where if I feel like I don't have enough privacy, I'm not going to be me 100%. I'm just not going to. There are certain parts of me that I'm just going to keep quiet. You know, my path, believe it or not, is a private matter for me. Even though I do like to share some things from time to time, it's a private matter for me. So I don't really want to be living in a studio apartment with my mom and have my altar out and do stuff. I don't I don't want to do that, you know, especially since she's a devout Christian and we're just going to fight and she's probably going to take my things and throw it out. Yeah. Um yeah, she will do that by the way. That's, you know. She's a great person, but her methods sometimes are off. <laughs> her methods are off sometimes. Um but anyways, I just, I don't know, I don't want to, I need to be in my own space. I feel like I can be more of myself if I was in my own space, you know? So eventually I'll be able to get back into everything. Um, and yeah, but you guys, thank you for watching this video and the last video and all the other videos that you guys have watched. If you have any other questions and you need me to clarify on things, um, I have no problem doing that. I will definitely do it. Believe me when I say I need vlog ideas, <laughs> I will do it. Now. One more thing before I turn this video off. When I do get everything settled and my life is in a steady type of whatever and I'm actually working and paying my own bills and living in my own place and I got my own bookshelves and shit and prepared, I'm, I'm debating on whether or not to document with a video. I mean, it's a private matter to me, but I do like sharing things with you guys. So actually, okay, what I'm trying to think, what I'm trying to debate is how much I will share. Um, but maybe it's too soon to think about this. Maybe when I get to that bridge, I should cross it. <laughs> or I'll determine how to cross it. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Because I, I follow a lot of pagans on YouTube and um you know I they a lot of them document their lives or they did and they don't they don't do it anymore you know um and it kind of makes me sad that they don't anymore but I can understand because well after a while it will get repetitive not to mention you don't always want to share everything that you're doing you, you don't always want to you know you need a part of your life to be quiet <laughs> uh so I don't know I'm kind of thinking bouncing back and forth in that decision but I guess, like I said, when I get to that bridge, I'll cross it the way that I should cross it. So thank you guys very much for watching. I am going to take a piss and eat. So good night.